all right welcome to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to design um a happy birthday flyer with a feel of a magazine okay with a uh, photoshop cs6 all right so um something similar to this okay for this one i did for someone and uh, i'm going to be doing for another just to show you how to do it all right before we get started please uh, subscribe to my channel like this video and share this video with your friends thank you all right without wasting much of your time let's dive straight into it all right the new um fly i want to do birthday fly i want to do will have this ash uh background and then the inside will be lightened up a little bit here all right so this is a, a new page i'm going to do the design all right so uh if you're wondering how i've got here it's very simple click on new file here click on file then new it will bring you right here all right so let us set that uh let us set that uh that background that ash background but let's let's go back there let me show you one thing something all right um to help me you know pick this this exactly this color okay this background ash color if i'm to pick it I have to come here pick on the eyedropper tool i click it and then come and just click on this ash color so once i do that you see it's activated here the ash is here let me, show you, let me do that again if i click on this ash color as i want to use it as a reference you can see it got activated here all right so that means that ash color is activated for me to use all right let me go back to the window i want to do the design i'm here now all right so i come here this is a uh, create new field or adjustments yes i click on it and the uh, gradient click on gradient now this is where i get to pick that color this is where i got to i get to pick the color that i just uh for, as the background color all right so um these are different styles these are different styles radio oh you see the changes angle reflected at, at i want radio i want radio and i'll make some effects some changes to it just watch okay so this is radial this is the radial style but i have to uh i have to reverse it this is how i reverse it i click on reverse good so i reverse it you see that the lighter shade is in the middle and then the darker shade is outward all right i would like to reduce this um this uh it's too it's too bright this center here is too bright I have to scale it down a bit 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 okay I think this background is okay for me alright so this background is set alright it's time to bring in the central picture our place in there so i'll have to open the picture as a new photoshop window here it will be added somewhere here i'll go to file open the picture is in a folder on my desktop go to desktop okay this is it and i want to use this picture as the background uh, picture I'm going to use it as a background picture so okay i have to unlock this background to allow me to crop out that picture here and now move it to the one i'm working on okay. zoom in a bit Control plus zoom in a bit Right, for me to do that there are a lot of tools i can use to 
do this cropping crop out this the lady here a lot of tools but okay i prefer let's try the quick selection tool that is it here there's a quick click on it okay okay you can see the mouse here that means quick selection tool is activated if you want to increase the the circumference this uh brace bracket here on your keyboard the right one press it see it increase and then the left one will decrease it so let me increase it a bit all right so quick question to so i will now begin to i'll click here and i'll follow it to capture a figure okay see some parts is capturing some parts is not supposed to get so this is where i'll get to manipulate it reduce it a bit remember the 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 uh, brace the left brace and then i want to cut out some parts okay so once i on my keyboard i press down the alt key you can see the turn to minus so these little parts that are not supposed to be in here i'll cut it out and then the top here i'll cut it out here I'll cut it out here and pick it out too all right and now i have to release her uh, i release the alt key okay i'm back on keep taking it keep going all right you can see that i've used the quick selection to to trace around the image this is it i've used the quick selection to trace around the image okay okay although there's some parts i need to cut out like this little space here but i need to cut it out first from here before i can you know trim out the little parts remaining so now that i've have the outline traced out i'll just on my keyboard just press ctrl j okay what was going to happen here a new layer will be created on this base layer once i press ctrl j ctrl j okay so this the this is the this image of the lady cut out from the background so if i want to see the lady's image very well i just come here this eye here and just click on it to turn it off good so this is it this is the lady this is the lady but there's a tiny part here i want to call out the little space here between the her, the handle of her bag and then her trouser here i want to trim it out so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now by zooming ctrl plus All right, so let's remove this. Uh, let's clear out here and this tiny place here. Let's do that. So to do that, we need our pen tool. Activate the pen tool here. Activate the pen tool here. So that's the pen tool is activated. So I'm going to use the pen tool to go around. Oh, sorry. The pen tool is on shape. I need to place it on parts. So once I pick the pen to come here, place it on parts. Uh -huh. So perhaps cut out the places I don't want. Click on selection. 
leave everything as it is click on ok all right so you click on your keyboard click on delete and that place is over so let us also remove this tiny place here and have some background colors there too around the chain Click on selection, leave everything as it is, okay. Create a selection around about there, then press the delete key on your keyboard and it's out. Okay, so we've cleaned it up a bit so we can use our picture right now. Alright, so this is the picture we uh, cut out from the background. If I own the background, this is it. Okay. So this is a picture. Now, the background we want to use for this work, this is the background we want to use for this work. So we have to bring, move that picture we cut out to this background. So let's go back. Okay, so to do that, see the move tool here. This is the move tool. You click it, you put it anywhere on this image, you left click and hold, and then you now move, targeting this background, okay, to open up the beginning here and drop, good, now this is where we resize it, this is where we resize it to fit into what we want to do. And we just a control T. Okay. That's that is a free transform. Go to any edge. You want to maintain the dimensions. Your left hand should be on shift. And then you now collapse it a little bit. You maintain the, the X and Y dimension. Alright, you know, move it in up a bit. Collapse still to be. Ah, good. So, present the way we want it to be. Okay, this is the reference picture we are using for this design. Okay, and this is what we're working on. Correct. So the next thing we want to do is to let's bring let's type this glamour into our picture to this flyer. So this is that we pick the text tool, and drop it here. Come here, set the color to white. Select to white, okay, and then the type. I like this uh, white Latin. I like this font type, white Latin. So I'm going to use that. In case you prefer another type, go ahead. So I'll type type glamour. Okay, I drop it. Now move it in, move it in, then Ctrl T for free transform, I extend it until it looks nice. Okay. 
Okay. I think I like it like this. Okay, remember this is the sample file that we're working on. I need to cut out this barcode here. I need to cut this barcode out and use it for our flyer. So to do that, let me bring in the sniping tool. The sniping tool. save it so I have to put in the folder that I'm working on it's in desktop yeah that's the folder save I minimize this. All right. So I bring in that uh, picture that I sniped file open oh sorry it has to be place I have to use the command place not open place yeah this is capture so I place it and that is it I want it to be somewhere here Okay, back to our sample picture. We need to bring another picture that's going to be here. Bring another picture that's going to sit here. So, I will open the picture I want to use. Go to file, open. Navigate to the folder. I'll select one of these pictures. Oh, yeah. I think I like this one. Open. I need to crop it to the size I need. There's a crop tool. To be the crop tool. Crop it to the size I need. Okay with this. Okay. 
So we move to I bring it into my background. Drop it here. It's too large. Up to resize. Let's see. Quite large. Okay. This is me resizing it. Capture the edges and resize. So then, this one in. At this point, I zoom in. Control plus. Sizing. Okay, remember this is our reference picture. We need to get in another picture where she's with her friends. Yeah, and then place it here. So we have to open the picture, crop it before placing it there. Go to file, open. And this is a picture I want. Just double click. And it opens. But before I do that, I'll have to crop it. To unload this background. And click on the crop tool. Down. Click on the move tool. Now I can move it in.
ID is okay. That's okay. Alright, so let's design this coin we have here in our flyer here. Okay. To do that, we need to use the circle tool. So come to the shape tool here. This tiny arrow, click on it to open up. Yeah, this is the ellipse tool. Select it. So we're gonna draw the tool here. The left hand will shift to get a very perfect circle and drag. Yes, that is it. So let's customize it. Customize it. This is where we'll customize it from. Okay. Alright, so we are going to give it an inner color of red. In the color of red, okay, and then the stroke. The stroke, we're gonna give it this, we're gonna make the stroke a little bit uh, thicker. Expand it, okay, something like this. You can see that the stroke has a white has a white outline, so we're gonna adjust that to give it an outline of. Um, purple and yellow so this is where we color the stroke click there let's go for gradients gradients so we're gonna mix the color so color here we need a uh, here we need I go for purple here Okay, and this other end I put yellow. Let's click here. Okay, yellow somewhere here. Yellow. Okay. And that is that. So, all right. So I place it in. Place it in here. Place it in here. All right. The rest of the work are just basically text typing. So I have to type all these, and then you see the final design. All right. This is the final design. You can look at it. I put the text at the right places. This is what it looks like. Okay. So let me show you the sample which we had to do, do it from. Yeah, this is the sample. From this, we had to recreate this. Yeah. Okay. So that is it for today. Please subscribe to my channel like this video and share with your friends to encourage us to do more of these videos also drop me a comment at the comment section thank you have a nice day bye bye